In this video, we will learn how to find out the value of investment multiplier from the given average propensity to save and the autonomous consumption. The question is, for a hypothetical economy, it is given that average propensity to save is equal to 0 0.4, income is $100 billion, autonomous consumption is $10 billion. We need to find out the value of the investment multiplier, okay? So let us see what we are being given. We are being given the value of average propensity to save, which is equal to 0 0.4. By average propensity to save, what we mean? APS shows us the proportion of income that is saved rather than spent on goods and services. Okay, this is being given as a 0 0.4. Also, we are being told that income is equal to hundred billion dollars autonomous consumption is 10 billion and let me denote it by c bar or let us denote it okay so let's denote it by c bar which is equal to 10 billion we need to find out the value of the investment multiplier uh, by investment multiplier what we mean investment multiplier measures the effect of an initial change in the investment on the economy that is, it shows how much additional income is generated in the economy from an initial investment. Okay? Now, we need to find out the value of K. So, let us see how to solve this. And we know that investment multiplier is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. Okay? This will give us the value of the investment multiplier. But we don't have here marginal propensity to consume. We are being given the average propensity to save. So let us see how to find out. APS is equal to 0 0.4. Now we know that APS, that is average propensity to save, plus average propensity to consume is equal to 1. Okay, by average propensity to consume, what we mean? It shows us the proportion of income that is spend on goods and services rather than saved okay now from that we can find out the value of apc so apc will be equal to apc will be equal to 1 minus aps okay simple thing that gives us average propensity to consume will be equal to 1 minus aps is 0 0.4 rather we will get average propensity to consume will be equal to 0 0.6 okay having said that but we need to find out the marginal propensity to consume okay now we also know that average propensity to consume shows us the proportion of income that is saved rather uh, average pro average propensity to consume shows us the proportion of income that is spent on goods and services and the value of APC is equal to, that is the total income, rather the total consumption, divided by total income. Okay? So, this gives us APC. So, APC is C upon Y, the proportion of income that is consumed or spent on goods and services. It is equal to 0 0.6. Now, solve for, okay, let me write it here. C we need to find out income is being given as 100 should be equal to 0 0.6 can we write 0 0.6 is 6 upon 10 okay simple so c will be equal to transpose it gets multiplied 6 upon 10 sorry 100 rather 10 into 100 when we transpose this it gets multiplied so, 0, 0 gets cancelled, 10 is are 60, that means our total consumption in the economy is 60 billion dollars. Okay. We also know that the consumption function in its functional form is equal to, so consumption is equal to the autonomous consumption, that very consumption, that does not depend upon the level of income plus marginal propensity to save okay so let me denote the marginal propensity to save by small c times 
the value of income, the level of income. Okay, so consumption is a function of income. That is, consumption is a positive function of income. That is, if income increases, consumption increases. But some part of the consumption is autonomous, which does not depend upon the level of income. Whether our income is zero, ten, or some any other value, we will be consuming some fixed proportion of. Rather, we will be are consuming some goods and services when our income level is zero. Okay, having said that, now we know that C is equal to we got this value of C is equal to sixty. Is equal to autonomous consumption is ten. Plus C denotes the marginal propensity to consume. Let me write it here. C times the value of income is hundred. Let me write it here. Hundred. Can I write it like this? Hundred times C is equal to transpose it here. Sixty minus ten is fifty. Or let me show it here. Sixty minus ten. Or hundred C is equal to. So it would have better if I have denoted M P C by B because we have this C and this. Okay, let me denote it by B. Okay, it will get not confused. So let me denote the marginal propensity to consume by B. Okay, so we have B here, B here. So sixty minus ten is fifty. Dividing both sides by hundred, so B will be equal to fifty upon hundred, which is equal to five upon ten, which is equal to zero point five. So zero point five is our marginal propensity to consume. What does marginal propensity to consume tell us? It shows us how much our income changes. Okay, it shows us. How much our income changes? Rather, how much our consumption changes when there is incremental change in the consumption? That is the marginal propensity to consume. Okay. Now, can we find out the investment multiplier? Now we can find. So we have one divided by one minus M P C zero point five. So K will be equal to one divided by one minus point oh five. Sorry, point five is equal to zero point five. Which is equal to one divided by one upon two, or k will be equal to two upon one, or the value of the investment multiplier will be equal to two. So correct option should be two. But how do we interpret the value of the investment multiplier? Okay, as I have told you, investment multiplier shows us how much additional income is generated in an economy from an initial investment. That is to say, if k is equal to k is equal to Mm, two. It implies that if the change in the investment, okay, or if the investment increases by, let us say, one dollar or one billion dollar, that means the income in the economy will increase by. The value of investment multiplier is two. That means it will increase by two billion dollar. Okay, this is how do we interpret the value of the investment multiplier. I hope I make myself clear in this video, and you find out this video helpful. Thank you.